how is it going everybody mr android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel today i have got this beautiful phone from oneplus which is the oneplus 12 and i will show you some of the best tips tricks and hidden features related to this powerful smartphone it is running the latest oxygen os 14 which is feature packed and i will try to cover some really useful features that will help you to get most out of your brand new phone even though i have the oneplus 12 with me all these tips and tricks will also work on oneplus 12r so stay tuned and watch this video till the very end. Also, let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one. With that said, drop a like, leave a comment and let's get started. Alright guys, first things first, let me show you a couple of basic settings that you need to change before starting to use your phone. Simply swipe with your two fingers on the home screen, tap on more, here you can change the home screen grid. By default, it is set to 4x5, but you can change that to 5x5 or even 5x6 and this way you can add more applications on your home screen for easier access. Next, we have this setting called icon pull down gesture. Once you enable this feature, what it does is, now if you swipe upward on the left or right side of your screen, it will pull down the app icons which are located at the top and without lifting your finger, you can continue swiping to an icon and then release it to open that specific app right away. This way you can easily access any app on your home screen with just one hand. Another setting that you should enable is the double tap to lock and wake your screen. So you don't have to press the power button every time just to lock your phone. I'll also suggest you to change the swipe down on home screen option from shelf to notification drawer. Now you can swipe anywhere to open the quick settings panel. You can also adjust the speed of app opening and closing animation. It is set to medium by default but you can change that to fast and you will immediately notice a huge difference. All the apps will open much quicker on your phone. Next thing I'll recommend you to do is simply change the display resolution. Even though this phone has a stunning Quad HD display, it is not enabled by default. So just go into your phone settings, select display and brightness, scroll down and click on this option called screen resolution. It is set to standard. You can go ahead and change it to high for more sharper and higher resolution display. This might consume a bit more battery but you are paying so much money for a flagship phone then why not have a flagship experience. Since we are in the display settings, if you go inside screen refresh rate, we now have this option called app specific refresh rate. This basically allows you to set the refresh rate on different apps individually depending on your requirement. In this setting, you need to make sure that all your frequently used apps are running at 120Hz for much smoother and better experience. Next, let's talk about gestures. OnePlus 12 has so many useful gestures that can save a lot of your time. Now let's say I want to open another app in a split screen window. I just need to swipe with my three fingers and here I can easily open multiple apps in a split screen window. Similarly, if I swipe down with my three fingers, it takes the screenshot. Not only this, you can even control your phone with hand gestures without touching the screen. If you go inside additional settings, select gestures and motions. Here we have this option called air gestures. If you go ahead and turn it on, now when you receive calls on your phone, you can simply hold the back of your hand with the fingers pointed down and flick it up to attend a call. If you want to mute a call, then just hold and show your palm like this. These are the air gestures that you can use to answer or mute calls on your phone. There are also some screen off gestures that you can assign to do certain tasks when your screen is off. If I draw C, it opens up the camera instantly without having to unlock my phone. Similarly, when I draw V on the screen, it toggles the flashlight. Now if you want to activate these screen off gestures on your OnePlus phone, again go to gestures and motions, select screen off gestures and here you can turn on all the additional gestures that can save a lot of your time. Next in the settings, if you go inside special features, you get this option called smart sidebar. This basically allows you to quickly launch apps or access functions from the sidebar and improve your multitasking experience. So make sure you enable this feature and now when you swipe from the edges of your screen, it opens up a sidebar from where you can easily access all your favorite applications. Not only this, you can also save text, images and files inside the dock so they are available from sidebar when you are in another application. Let me show you how that actually works. For example, if I copy any text, I just need to long press and as you can see, we have a pop-up called save to file doc. I can just drag and drop the text to my file doc and later I can use it in another application. Same way it goes with the images as well. Now let's say I take a screenshot, I can simply drag and drop onto the file doc and later I can send it to my friend in WhatsApp or any other messaging app. This works like a clipboard which you can access anytime with just a single swipe. Another thing related to the smart sidebar is the recent files. This shows all the recent files on your phone which you can directly access from anywhere without going into the files app. So there are so many useful features you get inside this sidebar. 
you can quickly access your applications, open apps in a split screen or a pop-up window, you can drag and drop files, images and do lot more. So just go ahead and start using the sidebar on your OnePlus. This will surely take your multitasking to the next level. Another way to quickly launch your favorite apps and shortcuts is by using the fingerprint scanner. If I touch and hold the fingerprint scanner, even after my phone gets unlocked, I get this pop-up menu where I can quickly launch my favorite apps and shortcuts. To activate this feature, go into your phone settings, select special features and here you need to enable this option called quick launch. You can choose your favorite apps and shortcuts that you want to access using the fingerprint scanner. If you really want to get some beautiful wallpapers without installing third-party apps on your phone, simply swipe with your two fingers, go to wallpapers and here you get some really good looking live wallpapers that will completely change the look of your home screen. You can just tap on apply to set the wallpaper on your home screen and lock screen. Guys, I'll suggest you to try all these amazing live wallpapers. They are totally free to download and you can get some more wallpapers by going into the theme store. Next, let's talk about some more customization features. If you go inside wallpaper and style, here you get all the options related to customization. If you want to enable the always on display, just go inside and turn on this feature. You can choose from different styles and there is this really cool carbon footprint option. This AOD theme actively monitors your daily step count. When you walk more, you can see the positive impact you are making right there on the always on display. So this is a really cool theme which you can apply to your always on display. Next in the customization, you also get the option to change the font style. You can change the shape of your app icons and you can even apply different third party icon packs from the play store. You can adjust the size of these app icons. And there is this option called system colors which will change the icon color depending on the wallpaper that you have applied on your home screen. Next, you can customize the accent color, change the fingerprint animations, add different lighting effects when you receive notifications on your phone and do lot more. So there are so many customization features that will completely change the look of your smartphone. Next in the gallery, we have a really useful editing feature called smart cutout. Now let's say you want to separate a subject from the background you just need to press and hold and it instantly gives you the option to save the PNG file. This feature is already present on Samsung devices and I'm glad that OnePlus also added this feature with the Oxygen OS 14. This phone has one of the best haptics you can get on any smartphone and the best part is you can also adjust the haptics depending on your requirement. So when you go into the settings, go to sounds and vibrations, scroll down and then select haptics. Here you can not only adjust the intensity, but you can also change the haptic style depending on your requirement. You can easily feel the difference when you unlock your phone, touch and hold app icons, use gestures or open the recent menu and in many more places. When you press and hold the power button, it activates the Google Assistant instead of the power of menu. In order to change that, all you have to do is go to your phone settings, select additional features and then click on power button. Now you can change the press and hold action. If it is set to Google Assistant, simply change it to power of menu. OnePlus 12 also comes with a built-in app locker. So if you want to lock apps on your phone, then just head over to the app section, select app lock. Here you can set a different password to lock all your applications. Now you can choose the apps that you want to lock on your phone. You can use your fingerprint or face ID to unlock your apps. And you can also choose when you want to lock applications on your phone. Finally, let me show you some useful camera tricks. When you want to click pictures, you don't have to press the shutter button. Instead, you can just tap anywhere on the screen and it captures instantly. To enable this feature, just go into your camera settings, scroll down and select this option called shooting methods. Simply enable tap to capture and show palm. Now you can show your palm to take selfies and tap anywhere in the viewfinder to take a picture. Another setting that I want to show you is when you scroll down, you get this option that says volume button action. If it is set to shutter, simply change it to zoom and now you can zoom in and zoom out using the volume buttons. You can record up to 8K 24fps on the smartphone and you get all the manual controls to adjust the ISO, shutter speed and the white balance as well. So you can take some high quality pictures and record some amazing videos on this phone. So that's pretty much it for this video. These are some of the best tips, tricks and hidden features for your OnePlus 12. If you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr. Android and I will see you guys in the next one.